Okay, so I've just met with the Secretary of State who has uh, again confirmed that come Friday he will call an election um, if the Assembly and the Executive is not restored. We will have a recall tomorrow in the Assembly. Political parties will have a chance to have their say once again and I encourage, even at this late stage, the DUP to change their mind, to come around the Executive table with the rest of us, make politics work and support people through this period of time. But we look like we are on course for a second election and we shouldn't need to fight an election, the public shouldn't have to go to the polls again. But it looks like that's where we're headed because the DUP have continued to punish people and to stay out of an executive. I'll go out and ask for a strong mandate, a stronger mandate, to come back, to represent everybody, to work with all the other parties, to work in partnership, to make politics work, to fix our health service, to help workers and families through the cost of living crisis. People deserve no less whenever they elect, elect you. There's one thing that's very clear in my mind. There is no return to direct rule of the past. We're not going back to the days of London ruling um, our affairs here. Um, there's very much a role for joint partnership between London and Dublin. That's where we're headed in the event of things not being up and running. But, you know, I have just been given a mandate by the public uh, six months ago to be the First Minister and to be working with all the other parties. And that's still where I am, where I want to be. But in the, in the, I suppose in the longer term, if that's not the case, then there's no going back to the days of old. We're going in a very different direction. So tomorrow the DUP have a choice to make, either to let the public down, to continue to punish the public, um, and to not take the opportunity to join with the rest of us and actually find a way to make politics work.